Hi guys, Matt from Master Digital here, Technical Manager. Today's video is a quick look at the KTW02 Video Intercom Kit from Dower. Um, this is a Wi-Fi enabled kit, so both the outdoor station and the indoor screen are Wi-Fi enabled, making installation super simple, super easy. And we'll go through the quick configuration of, uh, of the kit um, in this video, and let's get started. Take a look inside the kit. So what do we get? You get your indoor screen, your indoor monitor. It's a seven inch uh, touch screen display and your outdoor uh, intercom doorbell, uh, however you want to refer to it. Um, and then your power supplies for the unit. Nice and simple. Um, there's a few extra steps to enable the Wi-Fi on the outdoor station. We'll run through that in the configuration very briefly. So let's take a closer look at what comes included in the kit inside the boxes themselves. So the two components in there, your indoor monitor and your outdoor station. We'll start with the outdoor station. The outdoor station itself is a VTO2311R-WP. We've got your camera, your call button, and also a fob reader on there for key uh, card or fob access. Uh, link that up to a gate, uh, mag lock, door, whatever it might be, um, to trigger uh, and allow access once uh, it's unlocked. Um, you also get all your required cabling, as well as a handy dandy little screwdriver, and then also your rain cover mount uh, for installation. So nice and simple, that mounts to the wall, unit slides in, locking screw in the bottom to hold it on tight, and you're all good to go. So moving on to the indoor display, uh, the model in this kit is the VTH2621G-WP. Uh, you get all your usual cables and accessories, as well as uh, the nice black display itself. Just slide that out of there. Uh, so this is a seven inch touchscreen uh, display. Uh, and then you also get your mounting bracket as well to mount it to the wall. Now you can, if you want to, uh, mount this to the desk mount, um, which is probably preferable with it being a Wi-Fi kit. Um, really simple little desk stand uh, rather than having to mount it on the wall. So that's everything that you get as part of the equipment. Um, so what we'll do next is get them plugged in, powered on, and we'll run through the setup for you. Okay, so once you've got everything plugged in and powered on, um, the first things we need to do is initialize both the outdoor station and the indoor screen. Now, the process of activating the indoor screen is the same as pretty much any other uh, VTH, um, so that's nice and simple. Um, but there's a really cool feature with the Wi-Fi enabled VTOs, which enables us to activate the actual unit itself um, directly from your mobile DMSS application. So, nice and simply, from the DMS application itself, tap the plus in the top right hand corner, and go to serial number and scan. And then you can either manually enter the serial number from the box, or you can use the uh, scanner, uh, the camera, to scan the unit itself. So if we do that, and hit next, it'll then ask us what device it is that we're trying to activate. In this instance, it's a VTO. Now naturally, because it's not connected to anything but power, it can't find it on the network. It can't find it on the DMS uh, servers online. Um, so we need to manually configure it with a network config method of soft access point. Now to do that, we press and hold the call button on the unit itself until it beeps. And it'll then ask us to connect to the hotspot and to Wi-Fi. And then we should then start to see a, a VTO uh, with the same model number and it'll have the serial number of the unit itself to connect to. If we now connect to that, we're now wirelessly connected directly to this unit itself. Okay, now what we can do once it's found it, there we go, and I'll tell you the country is United Kingdom, that's what's set up uh, in my app. I'll ask us what we want to set it up as, so username is always gonna be admin, uh, and device password, so I'll just put our default in here. Um, confirm that password, and then um, a optional email for password reset. So I'll just pop my email address in there, matthew at mastdigital.co.uk. Okay, tap next. And then it'll ask us if we want to set up uh, cloud access, so for DMSS, which we would like, um, and whether we want to check for any available online firmware updates. Um, you might get a prompt for continuing to use Wi-Fi because there's no actual internet access. The phone sometimes won't uh, recognize that. Tap OK, 
uh, so initialized it successfully. It'll then ask us what network we want this uh, device to connect to. So what we will do is we will connect this unit to our Wi-Fi network, so Mass Digital. Um, in this case, you select the Wi-Fi network um, at the installation address. Pop in the Wi-Fi password. And then this should then connect to that Wi Fi. I'll then ask you what you want to give that device a name. So let's call this uh, main door. Okay, and that's now on my DMSS application and that's now set up um, on there. And straight away, if I wanted to, the door is unlocked. I can unlock the door straight away already. And that's now automatically connected via Wi-Fi. Um, what we can do as well, is enable notifications for calling and that's all good to go so that's now that VTO itself is all activated so the next thing that we need to do is initialize the VTH so on the region we can just search for uh, United Kingdom Hit OK language wants to be English in this installation our quick configuration is going to be a villa so uh, single apartment uh, is, is a different setup but Villa um, is most typically where this is going to be uh, sort of installed. So our first time configuration. Now, this is going to try and find DHCP. At the moment, this isn't connected to anything. Um, so this is probably going to fail because there's nothing to give it DHCP. Okay, but we can set a static IP address. So if you know what range you're going to be in, you can configure this to what you want it to be. Um, so if we just click next, again, the password for the VTH. So in this instance, one, two, three, four, five, six, nice and simple. Email address for password reset if we ever need it. So I'm actually at mastdigital.co.uk. Digital.co.uk. Next. Um, VTO password, so again, we know what that is. Okay. Now, what we need to do is just initialize our VTH. That's now initialized. Okay. And then we can quit out of this. Press and hold settings. put in that uh, password. What we need to do is go to wireless LAN and enable Wi-Fi. And then this will then find the network. So we then need to connect it to our network. That's now connected. Under wireless IP, so this is going to use DHCP to automatically um, find a, uh, an IP address on the network. If we go to VDH config, we can configure the room number if we wanted to. So we wanted to have a different room number, but the default is more than enough. What we need to do is go to search device, hit refresh, and this should then find the VTO, main VTO. And then we just need to put in that password for the unit itself. So change me one exclamation mark. Okay. Make sure that picked up correctly. We want to enable the VTO as well in the VTO config. Okay. And then that IP address is 1.207. So we just need to make sure that in the SIP server, we're using those same settings. Uh, domain name wants to be VDP, Victor Delta Papa. Username is always admin. And then the login password is the password 
that you use to activate the VTO via the DMS app uh, earlier. Disable, enable, hit OK. So now that's all paired up and ready to go. All the icons you should have in the top right should just be the Wi-Fi icon, room number in the top left, um, and then you should be good to go. So we can go to monitor, we see our main VTO door there. If we want to view the camera, we can just tap on it straight away and we'll be able to see it. We can unlock the door directly from here if we the want to. Um, and if we hit the call button on the VTO itself. Calling now. Please wait a moment. That will ring the indoor screen. We can answer that. Just mute that with a horrible noise. Um, and then unlock the, the door. door is unlocked. Uh, if we need to. Um, in terms call. of the DMSS application, the only thing to make sure that we've got on there is that the notifications are enabled. And in that case, what will happen then when we ring the VTO? Calling now. Please wait a moment. Not only will the indoor screen ring, but the VTO will ring on the app itself. And I can, I can answer the app. But the end of the call. it's as simple as that. So that was a quick look at the KWO2 intercom kit. Um, for more information, check out the product on our Master Digital website. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And also, all the additional door furniture that you may need for your installation, so mag locks, uh, push to exit buttons, brake glasses, all that sort of stuff, uh, we do hold in stock as well. So for your installation, you've got the complete solution, not only the kit, but all the door furniture as well. Thanks very much for watching. See you in the next one. Thank you.